What's up, G fam? Josh nineteen ninety five coming. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> uh, come, Josh nineteen ninety five coming at you again with another video. Uh, topic that come up. Uh, this is all over YouTube. Google it. Uh, Twitter it. Whatever you want, you can find it. Uh, it's about McJugger Nuggets. Uh, I personally am a huge fan of the guy. Uh, regard this video will explain my take if the guy is fake or not or whatever. And I'm going to give you a justified professional opinion. And I'm not going to rant and say that he's a little bitch or he's a, you know, he manipulates kids or whatever. He does this or does that. He gets his uncle, his brother, his dad all into it, whatever. I'm not going to say any of that. I'm watching a video by a YouTuber. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm going to play. Well, you guys can watch me watch this guy because this guy makes some pretty stupid points. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little. Something in my throat. So good. Let's go ahead and get this into this. Yeah, it's 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 not happy with us attacking, well, not attacking, but just saying the truth to fucking Larry and fucking Jesse. Um, <clears throat> I was fucking around on the internet here and I, was, I got this fucking uh, reply on one of my videos and <laughs> believe it or not, it's from this guy, this kid named Joey. Alright, so what this guy is talking about, the little kid, Joey, from who was in the Don't Be a Chicken video and the uh, Dinner at the Farm video, guy with the, spike, the kid with the spiky hair who helped, uh, who helps his mother or aunt, whoever she is, with the YouTube channel, commented on this guy's video and here's what he said. He said, dude, I'm Joey from the, the Don't Be a Chicken video. I know it may sound sketchy, but just go watch one of my videos. Thanks to you, we have so many We have so many calls at the farm just because of this video. People are literally coming to my doorstep and asking to, asking to see Jesse. So please stop with these. Jesse doesn't like it, Corn doesn't like it, and Uncle Chris doesn't like it. So just stop. You're revealing the location of my farm and telling people where to find it. We get 39 phone calls about him in, oh, excuse me, in one day. So please stop hunting Jesse down and let it go. And he's like, dude, I'm Joey from the Don't Be a Chicken video. This. You're revealing nine or ten year old fucking fighting his battles. Do you think McJunkie Nuggets will ever fucking get on Twitter or fucking on any of our videos and say, hey, look, man, stop fucking with my videos. No, because he's a fucking pussy. He's not going to do that because he thinks that if he does something like that, that he's just going to give us power. Well, the thing that gives us power is the fucking fact that you keep making fucking videos about yourself, being poor and staging videos and, and fucking sending the wrong message to kids, teaching them to fucking treat adults like fucking shit. And talk back and and go fucking to all these different jobs and not even have to work hard for it and fucking. This dude's you know, nostrils are like totally one, <coughs> one of his nostrils is like fucking small life. compared like, to the other. There's nothing to it. There's no hard work and fucking you know it's just ridiculous. It's so fucking ridiculous that he's even allowed to produce videos like this because you got fucking kids coming to his doorstep and. He was like, he looked like he was so excited to see them that he literally had a boner. Um, it's fucking terrible. You know, oh, mommy, fucking, can you take me to fucking see Big Jugger Nuggets? What the fuck is a Big Jugger Nugget? He's my fucking hero. He's so cool, mommy. I can't wait till you see him. He looks like a girl. I want hair just like him. Like, fuck me, man. I swear, if I took my kid there and fucking saw that fucking guy... I <laughs> would hope you have that ponytail. Grab him by the fucking ponytail. Fucking get a big snip. Snip. That would be funny. But that's not gonna happen. Because I can't get into the U.S. But uh, that's another nah. story down the road there. <laughs> he can't get into the U.S. Um, no, I'm not a violent person, <laughs> He's Canadian. I can't stand fucking people. No disrespect to all the Canadians out there. <laughs> oh, shit. In so many ways, you know. I like the video that um, fuck, oh, let's get his fucking cod. The cod is, code is. Sorry if I got that wrong. I like the okay, 
All right, well, I'm going to stop it there because this guy made it like an 18 and a half minute video. I'm going to give you my straightforward opinion. Fucking bird. Sorry, my damn bird is being retarded right now. I'm going to give you my honest, straightforward, no bullshit opinion. I think with my Jugger Nuggets, yes, it is obvious that the guy is... He's not, I wouldn't say him personally, he's fake. I believe that, you know, the guy does have a degree in film. So I think, you know, he maybe he saw YouTube as a way to somehow like jumpstart a f film career with this Psycho series. Because the Psycho series, uh, everybody knows it's fake. Yeah, it's fake. It's obvious it's fake. You know, does he, he does slip up every now and then, you know, he'll do, he'll give his mom or his dad like a signal to start, you know, freaking out or whatever he asked him to do before the video started. I but like getting back on track. It's the fact that you know he does have a degree in film, so maybe he sees YouTube as a way to jumpstart a degree. I mean, a career in film. Maybe the Psycho series is a, something that is his signature. You know, something the Psycho the Psycho series could be something that he could take possibly into. A, a reality show i mean i don't know he could have been approached a, by a tv show or a true tv about making a reality show on based on the psycho dad series like kid behind the camera was on the angry grandpa but he turned it down because he didn't want it to be scripted really because his dad can't act uh so that's what i see i see it as it, it's entertainment you know youtube channel could be you know a youtube channel is like a a, a tv station you know we call it a channel for a reason, you know, you can, it's your channel, you can put up whatever the hell you want, uh, you can script it out, you can make it 100% real, but that's what's, that's what's big on YouTube these days, is videos of people losing their, sh using their, losing their mind, breaking shit, doing, you know, doing whatever, so that's what I see it, I see it as the, the kid, the guy, he's very dedicated to what he does, he loves what he does, he's worked hard regardless of what anybody thinks, I think he's a nice guy, I would love to meet him. I would love to be friends with him. I think him and I get along very well. But I see why <clears throat> he does what he does. He does what he does, you know, for content. You know, it's just he he's he's making he's writing a story in front of you guys. You know, the, the if you think about it, the guy's a genius. You know, to me, if I were him, I would lose ways. I would l lose my mind of coming up with something new for a psycho very psycho series every day. You know, he's done everything from his dad, you know, running over his games with a lawnmower, throwing his Xbox in a pool, uh, what else does he does? burying his games, uh, shooting his Xbox One, throwing his Wii in the, uh, uh, what's it called, a wood chipper. I would lose my mind trying to come up with a new scenario every day to add to this Psycho series when it's not really... Uh, when it does get, I'm sorry, when it does get this kind of attention. So what this guy is talking about is really just, he just, he, he's really bothered by the fact that what he does to kids, he apparently he manipulates kids. I don't think he manipulates kids. Yeah, the majority of his fan base is maybe like 13, 14, 15 in that area. Yeah, but it's so what, you know, so what, you know, it, there's really nothing you can do about it, you know, your your audience is your audience, you know, they work, uh, they give, you respect your audience, uh, he looks like he's very grateful for his audience, despite what anybody thinks, so that's my opinion, it, to me, it's, it's, it's a, it's a TV show, it's a TV show that he has created, and he's very proud of, and he works really hard on, right, I'm not kissing his ass or anything, I've admitted that I know he's fake, you can see he's fake in the, like I said, he slips up every now and then. We see a signal he gives to his mom or his dad. But what people don't understand is, is that it's entertainment. You know, people want to call his house. People want to call the farm he works at now. They want to call that ice cream place. People want to show up at his house. Uh, sometimes he has good fans show up. Sometimes he has, sometimes he has creepy ass fans show up at his house. This dude's taking a risk. The two over 2.3, over 2 million people know where this guy lives at and he's comfortable with just a uh, he doesn't he never knows who's coming down his driveway you know sometimes it could not be corn it could not be his girlfriend it could not be his dad or his brother or anybody 
you know, or Uncle Larry, Uncle Chris. It could be anybody. This guy could have anybody in the world come to his house and, you know, threaten to harm him, threaten to harm his family. This guy doesn't, this guy takes a risk every day. I'm sure this guy has over at least, what, maybe 15, 10 people a day or a week. Uh, as Uncle Larry takes a risk, they all take a risk. This dude is literally has his address online. At a point, he had his phone number. His Uncle Larry has his phone number. Uncle Larry's address is on there. I just don't see the point of why people want to bust his balls saying he's fake and he's manipulating kids and he makes fake videos. So what? It's a channel. It's his channel. He can do whatever the hell he wants. It's a, it's a series, okay? It's for entertainment. It's for your entertainment purposes. And he's doing it just to make you entertain. You know, it's like watching a soap opera. And it's a soap opera that's very entertaining to me. The cycle videos are entertaining. Uh, the last couple haven't been that good. The job, the job thing he's doing now, I don't know. If the, who knows if that's real or not? He he introduces characters. You know, Corn, Uncle Larry, uh, most recently Uncle Chris. His mom and his dad are uh, characters. His brother, uh, even if you want to say Jesse plays a character on his own, you know, you can say whatever you want. But that's my opinion on it. Again, you know, it's 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 like watching a soap opera. He writes out some. He writes out a scenario, and I'm sure he I'm sure he films that scenario over and over again. Uh, he puts out two vlogs, two videos a day. That's his schedule. You know, he can do what he wants. It's his schedule, his channel, his videos. <coughs> the loyal fans of his will stick by his side regardless of their age, regardless if they hate him or not. But this guy right here is just being ignorant, and honestly, he's just hating. I mean, really, to be honest, he's, I don't know why people will make a channel just to hate on a big YouTuber. You know, there's channels for guys that hate on PewDiePie, McJuggernuggets, Kid Behind a Camera, uh, what's, what's, who else is up? There's a hate channel for Prank vs. Prank. You name it, you name a big YouTuber, there's a hate channel for him. This guy specifically just does nothing but talk shit about all big YouTubers. Not all big YouTubers, but McJug all his videos are about McJuggernuggets. And the reason why he makes videos about McJuggernuggets is because he knows the fan base around McJuggernuggets. And when he puts his tags in his videos, he puts McJuggernuggets or whatever, something that involves McJuggernuggets. So when people type in McJuggernuggets hate videos or McJuggernuggets fake, his videos come up. This guy only has 2,000 subs. And the majority, is, the majority of his videos... My bad. Uh, let's see. The majority of his videos are talking about McJuggernuggets. Uh, that's all he basically does. You know, there's one here about McJuggernuggets uncle doesn't drink a bullshit. Fuck you, Larry. Where is your proof? Phone audio fake lawsuit from Tony's treats. McJuggernuggets job search prank. This dude makes videos about McJuggernuggets just to. There's even some here about kid behind a camera and his girlfriend. He knows that if he talks about McJuggernuggets, people will gravitate to it and give him views in that 5,000 subscribers. So he honestly didn't work hard for that 5,000 subscribers. He just basically used the name McJuggernuggets to lure in a fan base of that many so he can talk shit about this guy. Now, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm not going to name this guy that I watched because, you know, he's really irrelevant. You know, I'm not worried about him making a video about me. I don't really give a shit. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below what you think. Uh, comment. <coughs> excuse me. Subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Monday will be a challenge video. Thursday should be a draft reactions video. So you guys have that to look forward to. Uh, just uploaded a vlog. Check that out in the previous videos. Follow me down. Follow me on Twitter. My new Twitter is down in the description box. Giants underscore underscore 1995. Two underscores. Again, Giants underscore underscore 1995. All right, guys. I'm going to go get ready for work. I'm going to hop in the shower. Catch you guys next time. Go G-Fan.